Another good <clears throat> Kansas team, huh? Not as big as they've been in the past, but good. Yeah, I think they only have three six tens now. <laughs> they've downsized quite a bit. Uh, they're good. They're you know they're they're young. I think that's pretty much what the, the people in our league that are playing well and playing well on the road are people that have experience. And they've got experience on the front line. And Vic's Vic's been really solid for them in the backcourt. Doing the four out stuff though, right? One big four out lot shooters. Yeah, they've done that though. He's done that for a while. He did that last year, did the year before. Lawson, an early favorite for conference player of the year, I think. Or what's he done for them since he's you know, transferred in? Well, he's played really well. Um, I tell you, Robinson's pretty good. Yeah. And he's he really makes them go. I don't I don't know. I think it's awfully early. We haven't even went through the league once yet. Has basketball become a guard team, or is it? Pretty much always been a guard's game, except in the days when you know you had to wear seven footers or could not play. Well, I think we pretty much legislated them out of the game. We're gonna we're gonna end up widening the lane, which is gonna really hurt post play. Um, all the lack of physicality has hurt post players. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, I think more than anything, they've kind of been legislated out, and uh, there's so much, so much emphasis now on being able to drive the ball and, and get to the foul line. The when it used to be, you tried to throw it close and get to the foul line. Now it's, now it's drive it close. These games against Kansas here have been terrific. Great college basketball. Games. What do you got to do tomorrow to make it another one? Uh, not turn it over 20 sometimes and make some free throws. Our our turnovers have, and they're not just they're 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 so many of them are live ball turnovers that lead to baskets. So we we've got to do a much better job with the ball and then we have to make some open shots and make some free throws. And we've had open shots, we just haven't made any. I was practice yesterday. That was good. They they were at they actually were better than they've been in a while. What does that mean? Is that a good sign? I guess right. Anything else? Well, we still threw it all around, <laughs> but but they were in a, a, a lot better spirits. They were a lot more uh, you know uptick than what they were before. Effort there, <clears throat> the way you want it. Yeah, the effort was the effort yesterday was good. I didn't have had no problem with with their effort. No no problem with their their focus. They, they were they were good yesterday. You know, the only the only bad thing about practice yesterday is Jermaine couldn't go. But <clears throat> hopefully, you know, he'll be he'll be good to go tomorrow. Has there been anyone that's taken on any leadership roles recently, or is that still, I guess, kind of a, a question? Um, not really. I mean, I think I think it's kind of it's whoever's having the best game. I think you know, there's not a, a definitive guy like like JC was, like Deshaun was, or some of the other guys that we've had. That after the TCU game, you felt that they just didn't compete. Are you feeling confident in their ability to do that against Kansas tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'll compete. You know, we just, it was kind of one of those whatever can go bad will go bad. And, and they made shots. I mean, every time we made a mistake, they, they made us pay for it. I mean, they, they made a lot of shots. They weren't, they weren't really that contested the shots, but they were, they were stepped in shots, but still you got to make them, and they made them. 
they got to the foul line. Robinson's terrific. I mean, he, he gets the ball to the right guy all the time. Coach, um, Eric Martin made a pretty interesting comment on the conference call yesterday about how teams are beginning to adjust to Derek, you know, now that there's tape on him and everything. Uh, getting him to make adjustments in his game, is that maybe kind of the next step in his uh, you know, process of Becoming the player he can be, or? I don't. I don't think he makes needs to make adjustments. He just needs to do what he does well. Um, you know, there's a lot of great players that are kind of limited in what they can do, but what they do, they do really, really well. And I think that's uh, that's what Derek needs to do. Derek just needs to do what he what he can do and and do it better than what he's doing. It. You know, he's he's been really active on the. On the offensive glass, of course, you know we we throw enough up there for him to, to go chase. So, um, no, I just think he's just got to do better at what he's what he's really good at doing. Teams are getting to adjust to him, like you said. TCU you know, started to double down on him a little bit. I don't know if that's something he's seen yet. But... I got double down on him high school all the time. I don't think that's new to him. And he passes the ball really well, so you know, he's not. You know, it's kind of like Sags, you know, they, they doubled Sags at first and then they try to double Sags in Myrtle Beach. You can't double a guy who doesn't want to get doubled. And Sags, Sags got it out of there. He split him. He actually sometimes scored over him, which Derek's capable of doing the same thing. You mentioned his offensive rebounding and off the ball scoring and stuff. Are you getting comfortable running sets through him yet where he can get the ball to him and score? That's still a work in progress. Well, it's been really hard because he's he missed so much of the early stuff that he. Uh, I have to do it after a timeout. I have to do it after a timeout so I can make sure he understands what we're trying to do. Uh, but we do, yeah, we do run some things for him after timeouts, but um, it's hard to do it on the fly. Having said that, are you surprised maybe a little bit how well he's done? In the short time he's been with you, and having to break through a fire hose a little bit to learn what's going on. I don't think anybody ever doubted his ability. Uh, it was, it was just his. Uh, he's, he, he's he's a totally changed, at least to this point, he's a totally changed guy. You know, he's 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 very coachable. He's. He's never, never has an issue off the floor, you know, and that, and, and, you know, I think that kind of frees you up. I mean, I, I, I would, I would guess if you, you know, you miss class, you know, you're going to be in trouble. You're probably thinking more about that than you are about doing what you're supposed to do on the floor. So, uh, I think I, I, he's, he's been really good. I mean, he's, he's been great to coach. To see a kid willing to speak up and be a leader. Right now, you're looking for leaders wherever you can get them, I guess. No, I don't. No, not no, yet. Not now. Not now. I mean, guys, have, you know, Jordan Jordan tries, but, I mean, nobody listens to Jordan. You know, and, and that's not a personal thing. It's just, you know, it's how are you going to tell juniors and seniors and guys that have been here how to do things better or to do things harder or whatever. But he is building a body of work, though, that the guys see when you perform. Who's that, Derek? Yeah, he's a little bit of a body of work here in the limited time he's played. Double doubles and playing hard and those things. Yeah, he's yeah, he's been good. And, and really, Logan's been great with him, trying to help him. Uh, there's a bunch of guys trying to help him. But it's just going to take some time for him. To, it, it's, a, it's a hard time in the season to try to start from the beginning. So that's that's what's limited more than anything. Zags, he's out there now. Uh, where, where's he standing? Is we have? Uh, he's got, I think, a bunch of strengthening to do. Um, I don't know how long that. I don't. I don't. I don't think anybody knows the timetable. I think it's kind of. A, let's, let's wait and see. I haven't seen either foot go off the floor out there. Just 
shoot me. Well, I mean, he had he had the period on crutches. He had the non weight bearing period. So I think as long as he wears his brace, I don't. They, I'm sure they don't want him running and jumping. But I don't know what the hell you ask me for. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> What, what, is let, me, there, let me ask you this. I mean, this, and this, is, this sounds long and stupid, but, and which is pretty obvious. Um, but you got you got him. Let's let's say he can't accomplish this year what he needs to accomplish to get back all the way to go to, go to the NBA next year. Can you picture next year with Sags, Oscar, and and Derek as, as your front line? I mean, it's, do you dare picture that? That, that that might get me through the rest of the year, uh, <laughs> you know, without without doing something drastic. Um, yeah, I mean, we could do that. I mean, we can play three bigs. That's I mean, we we played three bigs at Cincinnati, uh, and and really, those guys are those guys are better passers than than the little guys we're playing now. Oh, they all three can pass. I think, you know, being able to rebound it defensively, it'd be, it'd be awful tough to get a shot in close. It's a nice thought, Bob. Why don't you go talk to Sex? <laughs> <laughs> do you try to run with these guys tomorrow? You try to control tempo a little bit? What do you, what do, you do with them? Take what, take what, take what's there. I mean, if, if we can, if we can get out and run, we're, we're going to try to do that. And if not, then we'll. We'll try to lock him down in half court. I don't. We we can't really say we're going to do this or we're going to do that. I mean, we're just not. We've, we've got to we've got to start passing the ball better. I mean, it's it's hard to catch. It's hard to catch a lot of those passes. Hey Bob, good or bad? Can you? Are you at a point where you can anticipate or predict things with your guys yet? No. I mean, how do you how do you pre how do you predict a guy dribbling a ball down the floor and falling over his own two feet, falling down? Well, hopefully the ball? You don't. How do you? I mean, I that. But I mean, I, mean, like, I guess that hey, we're clear of that, or hey, this guy won't do that, or hey, they learn their lesson, and all of a sudden it pops up, or maybe a new thing pops up, or something you thought was cured is gone. Just, it, my perception is that what, what seems buggy was that. You never know where the next leak is popping from. Sometimes it's one that maybe you thought you had plugged before, too. It's like going to the mid bell Carnival. The moles? Them, yeah, they keep popping up. They keep trying to knock them down, and then another one pops up somewhere else. It's been... It's been... Uh, I haven't gone through this in quite a long time. <laughs>